You know, I really feel that some people are born with a tendency to like small things, and I think I'm one of those. My mother was the type of person, she only collected things that she felt that people or children played with, whether you're an adult or a child. She loved that uh, make-believe. The collections work really well together. I think it's a, a great um, symbiotic relationship. There's evidence of two very passionate and unique women. Now, the earliest memories of my mom's collection is probably when I was uh, in high school and uh, she would bring home these huge dollhouses. Uh, we'd be sitting there going, well, Mom, what are you doing? From the time I was tiny, I always knew my mother loved anything that was tiny, absolutely tiny. And there was always a cabinet in our living room. Now in those days I knew nothing about miniatures. I just knew it was little furniture that I wasn't to go near. She was a student of history. She read extensively, uh, loved the history of Queen Victoria. So really her love of that period of history is reflected in her collection. And she also loved um, just whimsical things. I think the thing that attracts me to pieces is the artistic effort that's put into it, the detail that inch to the foot can really give you the most detail that can be seen. It's been so wonderful all these years to make something, show it to her, and get her input, um, and she almost always brings out things that I never thought of, and she's almost always right. I met Mary Harris through, really through her sisters. When, when we became friends, Mary Harris was so interested in toys and particularly dollhouses and dolls. I was interested in miniatures and, and they kind of went together. Her friendship with Barbara Marshall really started the idea for a museum because both Barbara and my mom had extensive collections of, uh, for my mom of course, the dollhouses and dolls and toys and various things. and. Barbara scale miniatures of all sorts of periods of furniture. I'm not sure that either Mary Harris or my mother, I don't think it was within their personalities to think how really fine their collections were. Our houses, after we started collecting, seemed to get fuller and fuller. Whenever I'd come home, there'd be another dollhouse in the house. And uh, in fact, they were kind of losing room to the dollhouses. Mary Harris and my mother, their collections had gotten so large that I think their spouses really wanted them out of the house. Between she and Barbara Marshall, they didn't have enough room in their homes to store the collections that they were now uh, getting. And people started to talk to them and they said, you know, you really need to put this on display and open up your own museum. And I believe that Jerry Smith realized that they really had quite a treasure in their combined collections and that, you know, it would be great if they could share them with a larger community. We'd been to a, to a show or on a trip and when we got back we were showing Mary Harris's mother our, what we'd gotten and she said kind of in a joking way, if you girls get one more thing you're going to have to start a museum. And Mary Harris and I kind of looked at each other and said, maybe we would. <laughs> My mom was the type of person. She was a very caring person, very giving person. She always had a great spirit of fun. I think uh, she always loved to, to play. I think that's fair to say. And I think her joie de vivre, her, her, her sense of joy in life was, is evident, you know, through her collection. There's that educational kind of factor, but there's also a kind of a joyous factor about it. I think Barbara's been a major impact to this art form. You know, her patronage of, of the artists, uh, her understanding of the artists. She and Barbara Marshall, they really accomplished a wonderful asset for the community. I think it's often said, but there really sort of is something for everyone here.
the most enjoyment you can get from a collection that you uh, put together is to share it with other people. And so being able to share it with other people is just the ultimate.